Hi, I'm Stacey Kim, a graduate student at The Ohio State University Department of Astronomy. Today I'll be talking about a paper I recently wrote with my advisor, Anika Peter, and our collaborator, Dave Whitman, on constraining self-interacting dark matter through equal mass mergers of galaxy clusters. The standard cold collisionless dark matter, or CDM, paradigm has had remarkable success in explaining a wide variety of observations. However, it's unclear whether or not CDM can explain observations on small scales, the scales of galaxies, and smaller. Among the many solutions that have been proposed is one that turns to the dark sector, collisional or self-interacting dark matter. In contrast to CDM, which appears to primarily obey one force, gravity, SIDM particles can undergo non-gravitational interactions with other dark matter particles. In our paper, we study one particular class of SIDM in which self-interactions can be modeled as hard sphere scattering events, similar to how billiard balls collide. The tightest constraints on the collisionality of this sort of dark matter, quantified by the self-interaction cross-section, is found in emerging galaxy clusters. Clusters are key because they are the largest found reservoirs of dark matter and possess two additional components that bracket the extreme end collisionality, collisionless galaxies, and highly collisional gas. When clusters collide, the components separate based on their collisionalities. The collisional gas appears to lag far behind the collisionless galaxies. Measuring how far the dark matter lags behind the galaxies can tell us about its collisionality. Dark matter galaxy offsets and observed mergers, however, have revealed a mixed and contradictory picture. In addition, follow-up theoretical work has been scarce. Basic questions still remain, such as, how do offset sizes map onto self-interaction cross-sections? And how does it change for mergers of different masses and kinematics? To answer these questions, we've embarked on a new simulations program of SIDM cluster mergers. This paper is the first in our series in which we exclusively focus on equal mass mergers. We simulated idealized, isolated mergers of identical halos with 10 to the 15 solar masses, modeling cross-sections from 1 to 10 cm squared per gram, and a range of merger velocities, halo concentrations, and impact parameters. Although we have only simulated 10 to the 15 solar mass halos, we show how our results can guide interpretation of equal mass mergers of different masses, as well as unequal mass mergers. We find that although the size of offsets depends most strongly on the self-interaction cross-section, they can change dramatically under different merger conditions. Here, we've shown a prototypical trajectory of the dark matter and galaxy peaks on the top, and the offsets between them on the bottom for a merger run with a cross-section of 3 cm squared per gram. One can see that offsets are transient. They are typically largest just after pericenter and decrease shortly thereafter. Here, we plot the offset size just after pericenter against the offset lifetime. For a cross-section of 1 cm squared per gram, the approximate limit currently claimed in the literature, we find offsets of at most 20 kiloparsecs. The largest offsets are achieved in head-on collisions with low merger velocities and or high halo concentrations. Halo concentrations decrease by a factor of 2, or if an impact parameter the size of the cluster scale radius is introduced. At higher cross-sections, offsets are larger and form across a larger range of merger conditions. For a cross-section of 3 cm squared per gram, the largest offsets are about 50 kiloparsecs. At a cross-section of 10 cm squared per gram, halos coalesce upon contact unless the merger velocity is unusually high. Intriguingly, in observed equal and near-equal mass mergers, offsets of up to hundreds of kiloparsecs have been measured an order of magnitude greater than those in our simulations. The large offsets may be due to substructure or contamination by unassociated galaxies in nearby elementary structures. This motivates a statistical analysis of a sample of equal and near-equal mass mergers, which may help reduce these biases. However, we have found that more promising constraints may lie elsewhere. We have found that after the dark matter halos coalesce, the brightest central galaxies, or BCGs, oscillate within the newly formed core on orbits that do not decay, even after the newly coalesced cluster relaxes. For a cross-section of 1 cm squared per gram, BCGs are expected to oscillate up to 100 kiloparsecs from the center of the merged remnant. If BCG miscentering also occurs in unequal mass mergers and is robust to the addition of gas physics and full merger histories, 
The lack of large miscenterings observed in relaxed clusters implies a cross-section of 0.1 cm squared per gram, the tightest constraint yet. For more details on these results, including a semi-analytic toy model we devised to explain the physics behind the phenomenology shown here, please look for our paper on the archive. Thanks for listening!